Hi, I'm Kathy, the art teacher, and today I've created a new drawing video to show you how to draw a winter landscape. The project comes from my website, Arch Project for Kids, which I hope becomes your favorite place for finding easy step-by-step -step drawing lessons. Over the years, it has helped millions of kids learn how to draw. Please check out my videos, and if you like them, hit that like and subscribe button that's up in the corner. It helps me make more of these. Now let me tell you more about that winter landscape drawing. This tutorial will show you how to draw a winter landscape that features a moon casting light on trees. It's an easy way to learn more about shadows and how they are made and how pretty they can look. Here are the art supplies you're going to need. A sheet of drawing paper, a pencil, a black marker with a fine tip, and a black marker with a thick tip, and some crayons. And you can always download this free How to Draw a Winter Landscape tutorial from my website. Before you begin drawing, I always recommend making some guidelines on your paper first. By folding and creasing your paper in half in both directions, you'll have guidelines that match my tutorial. Step number one, start by drawing about three slight hills across the bottom of the paper. Step number two, draw the first tree on the left side, make the top a little narrower than the bottom. Then draw another tree the same way in the middle of the paper. And draw a third tree on the right side. They can be kind of randomly spaced if you want. Step number three, add a few branches to the tree you drew on the left. Step number four, now add some branches to the middle tree. It looks nice if some of them go off the page. Step number five, then add some branches to the tree on the right. Try to make them all look a little bit different from each other. Step number six, now it's time to draw your best circle for the moon in the center of the paper. Step number seven, draw a shadow for the left tree. Imagine light coming from the moon so you can see where it needs to go. Use the same plan to draw the shadow for the middle tree. and then the same plan for the tree on the right. Okay, this simple drawing is done, and now it's time to trace things with my black marker. Use the fine tip marker to trace only the trees, moon, and hill lines. You can leave the shadows in pencil for now. And now you can use that thick tip marker to fill in all those trees. The goal is to make them really solid black. Work slowly so that by the time you're done, no white paper is showing through. The super black color is what makes this such a dramatic drawing. Step number eight. Now you can fill in those shadows with a medium gray crayon. Step number nine. Now it's time to make the snowy background. Use your sky color to draw pea-sized circles all around the background in a kind of random pattern. Then all you need to do is carefully fill in the background with that crayon color. Work slowly so those circles stay nice and white. Okay, this winter landscape drawing is done. I love how the soft snowflakes look when you don't have any pencil or marker lines around the edges. They just look so much brighter this way. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this drawing video tutorial and I really appreciate your wanting to learn more about drawing. I have even more drawing tutorials like this one on my website, Art Projects for Kids, including how to draw a snowflake and how to draw a snowman. I really hope you try them out too.